Alrighty, what is going on guys? We are back once again. I don't want to say all guys, but at the end of the day, if I have any girlfriends, not a girlfriend, be realistic. Um, you know, they probably have already clicked off the video even prior to that joke. Kind of depressing, but it's their loss. Anyway, now that all the boys are here, just kidding. Females are welcome too. Actually, if you're a female that plays Madden, get at me on Instagram, UCF please thank you today what we are going to be doing all right we are going to be opening up the weekendly rewards i got 16 dubs i had two games left then i didn't play them because i knew i would lose then i played one of them just to see and i lost so that was that was it right but we have all the weekendly rewards here there's also some power up expansions now the question is which one will we do first i'm already at the pack screen we're going to start running these packs now yes i am on youtube would I consider myself a YouTuber? Fuck no. I do not have the luxury of just taking the cards and just taking the L along with it. That's a waste of my time. So what will I be doing? I open the uh, the Hail Marys. I open the midfields. Uh, because I got to um, MVP this week, uh, what I'm going to probably do with that is I will probably open one red zone and then coins on the other red zone, a touchdown, and then I can get another touchdown pack. Um, I get another touchdown pack from the uh, competitive series trophies that were granted. So that's lit. Uh, I'm going to go through all the fantasy packs really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and get them all uh, opened in the right order, whether it's a quick sell or a pack, and then I'm going to come back with it. All right, we are back once again. Okay. Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a tip, even though this probably is not the quality decision. For somebody just starting, if your editing skills aren't that good, like myself, right? You just kind of like to play Madden and you're getting into the other half. The pause recording feature on the new OBS, great option, by the way. Awesome. Honestly, like I just did a whole cut without having to ever make the cut in the, in the video because I paused it, did what I had to do, and now you guys are seeing the finished product. So let's go ahead and open up the rest of these packs. These are the last player packs that I'll be opening unless I pull some crazy shit. Then I'll run it. But that'll probably even be another video, right? Because that's the key. Like, you start out and you're, like, super wholehearted. You know, you post, like, five videos a day. It won't even matter, even though, like, four of them won't even get seen. But then you start realizing the algorithm and you have to play to its strengths and weaknesses. Which is annoying. But, you know, what are you going to do? These packs are dog shit. Literally not even going to name any of those people. Red Zone Pack. Let's pray to the heavens. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's trash. See, this is why I should have taken 25k here too. You know how many coins this whole pack is worth? This whole pack is probably worth like 10k. No, but well, um, I'll give it like 15. But there's no way it's touching 20. Zero percent. So, whatever. That's cool. Um, Alright, so we have one more thing to do. And I'm going to show that to y'all because it's going to be pretty quick anyway. Oh, no, I have to go back into my binder actually. So, I'm going to catch you guys in the binder in uh, just a couple of seconds. Alrighty, we are back in the binder. As you guys can see, some of the players that we got going on here. We got Byron. Byron is bought. Gronk is bought. Okoye is power passed for sure. Not spending that on a fullback, but the 98s don't really need. Nobody else is really that expensive, so it makes sense. Bought. Cheap, so bought. Um, bought. Bought after he redux. Let me say that. Um, one pro tip I do want to give you guys, though. Uh, that 99 power up pass, you should be able to move it around very easily now. So what I mean by that is every week when those fat packs come out, right, what could you do? Every week, you take your 99. So, for example, I'll just give you a rundown. The first 99 legend that came out, Champ Bailey with Randy. Same week. Obviously, I have a Broncos team, so I'm going to get Champ. Power pass, immediately in Champ. Done. Next week, Simeon comes out. Okay, great. So, what did I do? When Champ's price dropped with the fat packs, I was able to buy Champ, put it on Simeon while he was still expensive as, like, the only 99 right end. Then, following week, Gronk comes out. Okay, boom. There we go. Bought Simeon when his price dropped to literally 80k. Then I caught put it on Rob. Then this week when Rob's price dropped and I didn't need any of the ultimate legends, I was finally able to go back and put it back onto Kevin Mawai, who is like still two mil uh, and the best center in the game. Um, so uh, I, the ideal situation is that you have like one player who needs it uh, consistently, who's like really expensive, but it's not that big of a deal. So for example, he's a 97, right? He's a 97 without the power up pass. So it really doesn't matter if I had a 99 or not, but if it's doable, you can e easily run that. And now I have the best center in the game, which a lot of people don't because they're probably using that pass 
on a skill position so as long as you can collect up to like 200k almost any 99 is within reach let's get back into what you guys are here for we're gonna open up these rest of these rewards so these are my coins from the other this okay so we have touchdown pack uh red zone pack and this is from like just playing weekend league 126 in the bank and then the last thing i get to do luckily is that gives me enough for one more uh touchdown pack so i'm gonna go back into the store real quick and we're gonna go and buy that catch you guys there all right guys we're back in the competitive currency uh uh subsection of the store market you know like basically the, the place where they take all your money and don't give you anything back anyway i'm gonna open this up get another 65k in the bank i'm gonna surpass 500k and that's gonna be very nice that is exactly what we're looking for here so let's go ahead and grab that boom get another 65k in the biz ank but then we're gonna make some upgrades too don't worry we have a lot more to do in this video than just fucking coin stack and then leave that's boring nobody wants to watch somebody coin stack especially on youtube it's like the biggest like annoyance that some people have like there's a lot of youtubers that have a bunch of coins all year but like they'll still play it where like they're trying to make sure that like they're being budget conscious and whatever when like at the end of the day that is smart but i think that there comes a point where like if you if you genuinely don't have to pay attention to prices like you just you don't have to and i mean in mud or in life i mean to be honest there's, there is a point where where there's like a certain level of like humbleness that you try to have where it's, it, it, it regardless of how genuine you might be it might come off as like a little bit fake and that makes things hard so in my opinion i mean if you're gonna have the god, god squad have the god squad if you're not then you're not i don't keep this trading value has been literally between zero and ten thousand all year until like last week this coin value has been between zero and like 50k all year until i think two nights ago i pulled gentry like out of nowhere and I was like, oh, okay, great. That's good. And that's what I've been working with ever since. But uh, we've done everything that we had to do in terms of the coin stacking. Um, it is now time to get back into the team and we are going to take a look. So here is the thought process that I have. I'm going to be making one upgrade for sure. And then even though nobody's going to comment on this video, I'm probably going to wait until the next video to make my choice on it. But I will go through it now. So the first thing I have to do. Oh, I don't have Philip anymore. Well, that's a little annoying i obviously can't get rid of clinton portis because he's getting a crazy card so garrison hurst is the one that's gone for sure we're gonna boot him right up out the team because my friend philip has been granted a 98 overall which is something that we need so we're gonna go ahead and remove him from the lineup boom and uh, it looks like i have some pickups to go make so i'm gonna go handle all those and once i have philip ready to power up all the way i'm gonna bring it back all right phil what does what do you need what do you, arts do you get you get that one's the cleanest, in my opinion. This one's also clean. Don't, bitch, don't get too comfortable. All right. So, I'm going to stick with the team of the week. That shit's pretty clean. I like that. The green on the orange. I don't know why it looks cool, but whatever. Uh, Broncos, obviously, because that, that's the only reason he's on this team. That's kind of sad, though. If I wasn't a Broncos fan, I'd actually, like, be calling him a straight bum right now. Like, I, I would totally, like, if, like, for example, say that, like, they give Austin Eckler the 98, whatever. I'm going to look at it and be like, this is a shitty-ass card. Even though he's probably, like, the equivalent to, to Phillip. Like, pretty good. Not top five. I'd give him, like, top 10 to 12. Right? Somewhere in there, top 10 to 12. Something like that. And so that's where they both fall, in my opinion. But uh, zone run, obviously, he's going to need that. Spin and juke and whatever else. Brawler is what I'm running currently. So we're going to throw that on the man boom stick and then i just want to see the abilities even though it's obviously only three of them it should be very similar yeah no evasive in the first tier none of that just jukebox in the first tier evasive should be here though Wait, we got evasive anything weird like that i should know about return man nothing really insane although that evasive return man combo could save me abilities on champ but even then and these should be the same as the tier before right yeah no arm bar no bruiser no joystick nothing like that okay all right cool um so he's nothing really special but he will be a 99 i would hope once i throw him in the lineup um let me see yeah these are the base stats so let me go throw him in the lineup or take a look at him just see where he's sitting so we are back in the lineup um in theory he should be my number number one huh i mean he's the only 98 that i have at running back for this position only let's see something here 99 overall very good and then obviously it's gonna go ahead and be melvin behind him so i have come to my conclusion um i'm gonna keep melvin now hear me out garrison 
Garrison has 94 speed as well. So that's already just even, even Steven. The problem with Melvin, and, I, and I'm going to tell you this straight up. I think Garrison is still a better running back, personally. And I'm going to tell you why. Garrison has 95 agility, 95 excel. Melvin is like between 90 and 95 for both. But I think he's really between like 90 and 93 for both. So they're clearly lower by a couple of points. And he's a bigger body. So getting through holes with him is like pretty difficult as well. But he does get a lot more of those animations where like he just ends up on the other side of the tackle. Like, whoa, why did that just happen? Like, you know, and also this is going to be really stupid. And I don't recommend you doing this if you're not like, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm like that good. I'm probably like being realistic, like top 15%, top 10% player, but like no more than that. I'm not giving myself any more like credit. Uh, I think I, I basically am like the top tier of non-competitive Madden players. Plain and simple. That's where I'd put that. Anyway, um, what I will say is this though, um, that Melvin, it makes you feel a little bit more like, it's almost like more gratification if you can bust a big one with him though, because he's a big dude. And if you can get through with that guy with the dreads bouncing, bro, you see Garrison doesn't have dreads. So naturally they both have 99 speed, but like Melvin has like 130 speed and I don't want to hear shit that's like a pure compliment anybody with dreads like if, say i play football on the field i would actually have like a mental block even even going for them like throwing at them doing anything against them I'd, i would have a mental block that's an honest assessment of people with dreads who play football they are scary as shit even if their like stats are terrible they're scary as shit i don't care anywho the other upgrade and this is the one that i'm gonna need comments for this is the one all right. The other upgrade is going to be, I could go get a keep to leave. Okay. A keep to leave can now be on the team. And for people who don't know the Broncos team has ridiculous cornerbacks. And I mean, actual Broncos, not counting Byron, but you'll find out why he's there. Champ Bailey done. Willie Brown done. Ty law done. Chris Harris jr. Done. They're all goons goons. Now Chris Harris jr. I think has 98 speed, 99 speed on my team right now. 98. So he goes up to 98. Now we know that uh, Akib is at 92 speed, 97 speed, right? 97 speed um, maxed out on my team. That's with plus five though. So it really is all going to come down to whether or not I decide to take that chem off, which is going to leave me a lot of shit on my own time to be sitting here probably for hours just contemplating whether or not I keep Chris Harris or not. Chris, I love you. Thank you for everything. You are, of course, an all decade player and, um, you know, future hall of famer for sure. Undrafted insane. I'm literally taller than him and he plays corner. There are wide receivers that are six, five and like remarkably jacked, right? Think about that. And then this dude's like five ten and relatively skinny in shape, but relatively skinny. And he's a baller. That's lit. That gives hope to literally every human being that's ever existed to do anything. He covers people who are six, foot plus and like became the best at doing so like top what is it like there was 10 people on the all uh, decade or whatever like 10 dbs total so just put that in perspective dude's a freaking beast but he's gonna have to leave because he's not 6-1 in his madden so that's tough and i didn't because i wanted to get rid of the display capture like this but i paused it and said so now my whole sentence got chopped at some arbitrary point so what i'm going to tell y'all basically is he could have the Barry Sanders effect low key if I give him a base. That's like the only way because he still only has 95 agility with no joystick. So that's going to be hard, but I think it'll be doable. So uh, anyway, uh, let's I'm um, the last thing I do want to check out is any hidden stats he might have on the back end. I don't know if there's anything there. Lindsay has 98 BCV. That's really good. Up to 99 juke with the 90 spin threshold met threshold met. Thank you, EA. I appreciate you um his impact blocking is a whopping 30 watch out if you happen to play water boy he might stick the shit out of you stamina doesn't really stamina is actually pretty important and it's 93 as well so him and oh no that's clinton okay he does have higher stamina than melvin that is one thing about melvin bro he gets winded rapidly but i don't think there's really anything else i should be looking for <laughs> no i'm playing i'm playing but yeah i am gonna cut it here i'm gonna cut it here i think this was a great video i'm gonna try this is what i'm gonna try to do and i want people's opinion um, I'm going to go ahead and at hundred subs giveaway for sure. $25 value. I'll send that out to whoever. Uh, but up until then, up until tomorrow, because I told myself I'm gonna do this every day. Damn, that's a lot of work, but I'm going to send it because people are buying houses and Rolex, Rolex, bro. 
you know, Rolex, the watch. No, I'm, I know it's a Roly though, but like, look, thank you so much for watching. We're going to step back. We're going to take one more look at the offense, at the defense. Every team, everybody on the defense is a god, so it doesn't even matter. As you guys can see, there's one guy that we're waiting for. His name is there, but it's not the right one. Until next time, guys, I'm out.